Hello everyone and welcome to section 3, information gathering. So in this section, we're going to be performing information gathering on our target. Alright, so let's look at what we'll be looking at in this section. So we'll start off with gathering DNS enumeration. So we're going to be using a tool called DNS enum to gather DNS information on our target. Alright, we will then move to a more classic way of searching for information or information gathering. We will be performing a whois lookup and a subdomain enumeration on our target. Alright, so we will use whois uh, lookup tools and we will get information about our target and we'll, we'll then look at how to enumerate subdomains belonging to a target using a tool called knockpy. Alright, after doing that we will then uh, be looking at how to find open ports on our target with nmap. Alright, so we're going to be using nmap as our network scanner to find open ports on our target. Uh, that way giving us uh, the ability to see what services we can exploit. Alright, we will then move on very very closely to OS and service fingerprinting, essentially using nmap to detect what operating system and services that are running on our target. Alright, so that is called OS and service fingerprinting. So we'll also be using nmap for that. And finally, we'll be looking at Multigo. Uh, more specifically, we'll be gathering information on our target using a tool called Multigo, which is a graphical user interface, a very, very good tool, one of the best tools in information gathering. All right, so that is what we'll be looking at in section three, looking at information gathering. So uh, I'll see you in the first video. In this video, we're going to be looking at DNS enumeration. All right, so DNS enumeration is the process of locating all DNS servers and the entries for the organization or the target that you're trying to perform uh, the enumeration on. Now you might be wondering what exactly does DNS mean? Well, DNS is the domain name servers and these are the servers in which uh, an IP address and a host name are resolved. Okay, so uh, DNS enumeration will allow us to gather information, uh, really, really cr critical information about the organization that we're trying to target, such as the usernames, the computer names, and the IP addresses, you know, and so on. Now, to achieve this, we'll be using a tool called DNS Enum, or uh, DNS Enumeration, but it's shortened up, and it's called DNS Enum, or Enum for that matter. So, let's get started. Now, it comes pre-installed and pre-configured in Kali Linux, and uh, let's see how we can use it. All right, so I'm just going to open up my terminal, and it's really very simple. Now, I'm just going to expand it so we have a good idea of what's going on here. Okay, interesting. Now, let's get started. Now, the syntax is really very simple, and... Uh, the, uh, the command is very, very simple. It is DNS enum. All right, so DNS enum, and uh, that is the command, and that is the tool. Now, if we use the help command, which is followed by the double dash and help, this will display all the options that you have, have available that you can use with DNS enum. Now, the very, very important thing I want to show you guys is this help menu is really, really useful if you're new to a tool or a technique and can be really, really interesting if you just perform some research uh, now, we'll be looking at uh, quite a few of these options, but uh, let's look at how to perform a basic uh, enumeration on a website, all right, for example. So I'm going to be using my website in this demonstration, and I just want to point out that I'm going to blur out the uh, critical information about my website, uh, you know, just for privacy uh, protection and, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Now, again, I do have to pass out caution. You know, I wouldn't recommend you actively engaging with your target uh, if you do not have written permission in the sense that if you're performing a penetration test on a company, uh, you know, you better have written permission to do so. Otherwise, you can test your own sites or sites that you own or you can build your own virtual lab and test them from there. As I'm doing right now, I'm going to be using my website, all right, which is hackersploit or hsploit.com. So to use the tool, we use the DNS enum tool. And after that, I specify my website. So my website is hsploit.com. And let's see what information it gives us about my uh, website, what DNS information gives on my website. So uh, let me just hit enter. And uh, it's going to start the process. And as you can see, we're getting some information here. And now let's look at the results because it's very, very important. So it's going to get the host address. All right, so it's got the host address and it's got the IP address right here. Very, very interesting information as we've got there. Now, uh, looking at the results, we have uh, name servers, which is very, very important. And it can give you more information about the servers in which it is being resolved at and their IP addresses. And from then on, you get an idea of how the target is communicating with the DNS servers. 
Uh, furthermore, it prints out the mail servers. Interesting, very, very interesting. Mail servers are a great uh, attack vector and can provide a very, very uh, good entry level, you know, for performing an attack. Now, uh, as I said, I'm going to cover the IP information just for privacy purposes uh, so that uh, we have a good info. We you know we can have some good privacy. Otherwise, that is the information that it did get. And uh, this information is really useful because we were able to resolve the domain name servers that are currently being used and we have got the IP addresses. Furthermore, we were able to get the IP addresses that belong to the mail servers. Okay, now let's look at some more options that we can use with DNS enum. All right. So some of them include, uh, so let me just bring up the help menu here. So DNS enum help. All right. And uh, one of the options that we can look at is how to use the output location, which is simply printing out output, which is the O right here. So this allows us to output the information in XML format. Very, very useful if you're performing a penetration test. Uh, in the sense that, uh, you know, as you're performing a penetration test, and I'm talking about this in on a professional level, it is very, very important to document all the scans that you're doing on the target. All right. So this would be a very, very interesting thing to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to browse to my desktop. So change directory desktop, and I'm going to create a folder there called uh, results, right? So results, and I'm going to change my directory into that folder. Excellent. Now I'm going to save my results uh, in this folder. So I'm going to perform the scan again. So DNS enum, right? And we simply put the output and uh, we specify the file. Now, if we look at the help menu before we do this, uh, we're going to see something very, very important. It's going to give you the syntax. So it's going to say O, or you can use the double dash and use output and you specify the file and the output should be in XML format. All right very very uh, important to note that so let's perform the scan here now so i'm going to say dns uh, enum and i'm going to specify uh, the website so hsploit.com and i'm going to specify the output and i want to save it in a file called hsploit.xml uh, all right this would be the standard way of doing so and i did enter and uh, there we are it's going to uh, get the information and indeed it is going to save it in a uh, XML file. So let me just check whether it's created the file. So let me just list what files we have there. So uh, there we are, we do have the hsploy.xml file. So let me clear this out and I'm going to just see whether or not we can access it. And there we are on my desktop. If I open up the results folder, uh, there we are, hsploy.xml. And if I open it up with the text editor, we can see that it gives us information about the website that we've just performed the scan on, which in this case is hsploit.com. Awesome. So now we have information and we have saved the information, which is very, very crucial uh, when performing any type of enumeration or uh, scanning for that matter. All right. Um, now let's look at some of the more important commands. All right. So uh, if we look at the DNS enum help menu, help. We can see that we have options regarding who is requests, all right? And that is denoted by the W command right here, all right? So this allows you to perform who is queries uh, on the network ranges, as it says, all right? So what this uh, essentially does, it's going to perform who is uh, queries on the website to get more information about the website or for an organization in a larger scale, all right? So let's see if we can do that. So I'm going to uh, use the same command DNS enum specify the site i'm not going to output the information this time i'm just going to hit the w command and or you can enter this command before you enter the website uh, or you can do it after it really doesn't matter so i'm just going to hit enter and let's see what information we get all right so not a lot of uh, additional information was found as you can see warning cannot load the who is ip module who is queries are disabled. So that means my website is disabled who is queries. And that is a security feature that I did implement. But regardless of uh, whether or not I have implemented this, if the site is less secure, which is what we're trying to find out, this would be a great uh, place uh, to perform a who is uh, attack or a who is query for that matter. It's not really an attack. Sorry about that. All right, so that is how to perform DNS enumeration on a target. Now you can do this on an IP address as well as, uh, you know, doing this on, uh, for example, a website as we just did. And it's a fantastic way of gathering information about the domain name servers and the mail servers as you've seen. And that can hopefully give you insight or give you a bit of more information about the target and how the target is set up.